Hello, and welcome back to Jessica Pilates, your home to get kitty, fit, toned, and flexible as you strengthen, stretch, and smile. If you're here, it is day 12 of my 28 day challenge, and we'll be doing a flexibility face workout. I will be using the strap. This one does have loops in it, but you can really use any strap, even a band or a towel. If it's your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if it's your first time joining in, I'm in the middle of a 28 day challenge that's all about getting you into a mind body movement habit. We'll be building strength, we'll be toning up, we'll be gaining mobility and flexibility. And most of all, we're just getting into a routine. While we're in 2021, we don't really know what's gonna be happening with quite a few things. I'm in the United States and things are just up in the air. But one thing we can control is how we move and how much we move. And this challenge is all about creating a healthy habit that you can do at home on your own for free. So let's get started with our strap. Remember, if you come to an exercise that doesn't feel right for you, you can always leave it out, fast forward, or do your own version of it. I am actually gonna start in a kneeling position, but you can sit in any way that feels right for you. I'm gonna bring the strap right in front of my shoulders and my arms are about shoulder distance apart. I'm just gonna do a few shoulder rolls here. Forward, up, down, back. And I'm gonna keep some tension on the strap or if you're using a towel, a towel. Two more. And I'm drawing my belly muscles in. And then other direction. So back, up, forward, down. And I'm trying to keep tension on that band. And then next up, I'm gonna use the band and I'm going to take a nice tricep stretch. I'm gonna put it in, it'll be your left arm if you're doing it. Bring that up into that left arm. And then I'm gonna take a hold of it. If you can do the grasp on your own without the strap, then go for it. But I'm just getting warmed up. And right from here, I'm gonna lift my spine tall. I'm just gonna take a stretch forward up a few times. And then if it feels right for you, you can always drop your hands. I'm gonna come into a stacked knee pose. So I'm gonna stack my knees. And from here, I'm gonna just bring my chest to that top knee and lift. Nice glute stretch and tricep stretch. I really feel in the back of my arm and the top hip. Exhaling and inhale, keeping my chest lifted. One more time. And then I'm gonna bring my knees forward to roll out of it. I'm gonna come back into that kneeling position and I'm gonna change arms. So I'm gonna bring the other arm up. I'm gonna reach back. I'm gonna take a hold of the strap. I'm gonna lift my chest and do a few forward bends here, keeping my spine and my elbows sort of in line. And make a shoulder and a chest and a tricep stretch. And then from here, you can take the stacked pose. So see if you can come into that stacked pose. If you need to drop the strap and use your hands to get into it, drop the strap. And I'm gonna lift up tall and come forward and up. Exhaling, inhale. Keeping my feet pressing down to the floor, two more. I really feel a stretch on my shoulder. One more time. And then I'm gonna go into my 90-90. So I'm gonna, since this leg is on top, I'm gonna keep that knee out to the side. You can always sit on a block and you can also do this seated on a chair. And I'm gonna split my legs. Remember, legs in quite a bit should be a little bit less challenging than legs out. You can sit your butt onto a block and just take a quick cat cow and then see if you can grab your stretch your strap 
and just hold up for a second. Do a few side bends. Up, other side. Notice I'm not going very far. And other side, pressing my feet down. And then hold here, you take your arms down for a second, deep breath in. And then just try a few twists, twists, twist, 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 and twist. Excellent. From here, I'm just going to reach back and just bring my legs into that butterfly. And from here, I'm gonna rest my elbows onto my hands. And we're just gonna do a little bit of wrist mobility. Just bring, try to immobilize your lower arm. So keep your lower arm really still. Just bring your wrist, bend in your wrist, and bring your hand in and out. Pinky in, then thumbs out. Pinky in, thumbs out. And then from here, see if you can press down and up. Know that I'm keeping my lower arm really still. I'm almost pressing it down into my knee. And then from there, see if you can do a few wrist circles without moving that lower arm. Two more. And then other direction. And then we're gonna head on to the other side. And I'm gonna come into that 90 on the other side. Find the right 90-90 spot for you. Remember, feet in will make that a little bit easier. Feet out will make that a little bit more challenging. Quick cat cow before we get into it. Rounding your spine and arching it. Exhaling and in. And from here, bring your strap above your head. You can always do this with the arms down and just bend to one side. Center, keeping tension on the strap, other side. Center, bending, center, reaching your feet down, other side, center. Try to, as you can see, I'm really struggling to keep that strap taut. Two more. And last one. I'm gonna lower my arms down for a second. My shoulders go, and then we'll go into the twist. So arms up, twist, center, other side, center. Twist, center, other side, center. Twist, center, other side. Keeping the hips and the feet reaching down and then reaching the spine up as a twist. One more each way. And then arms come down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick stretch here. Bring that foot in, coming back into that butterfly position. And this time bringing my elbows onto my knees and just taking a quick stretch here, just giving it a little bit of oomph now, really pressing my elbows in. Deep breath in. And exhale. Now, I'm gonna sit up just a little bit taller, and I'm actually going to bring one leg in. I'm gonna keep this leg here. You can kind of move it around, and I'm just gonna stretch and bend that leg a few times, and I'm actually gonna keep it in that externally rotated position, just like this side is. And then from here, I'm gonna turn that knee and that foot in as much as I can. You'll see it doesn't go far. Turn it in and out. And then I'm gonna go into my knee car. So I'm gonna turn it out, stretch, turn it in, bend, out, stretch, in, bend, just a knee circle, out, stretch, in, and now reverse. So I'm gonna keep in, stretch, out, Bend, staying as tall as I can, in, stretch, out, bend, in, stretch, out, bend. I'm gonna come back to that butterfly, take a quick stretch here, hug this knee into my chest. I'm gonna keep that external rotation, stretch out and in a few times, and really stretch my spine up tall. 
and then rotate that knee in. It'll feel a little funny. This, this leg on me doesn't go very far. You can see it, I'll stretch it all the way. I'm gonna sit up as tall as I can. And then I'm gonna go into that knee curve. So turn out, stretch, turn in, bend. Turn out, stretch, turn in, bend. One more like that, then we'll reverse. Try to really move from the knee. If it's your first time doing this, it'll feel a little weird. Keep that knee turned in, extend, turn it out, bend. Turn it in, stretch, turn it out, bend. Again, turn it in, stretch, turn it out. Bend. Now grab your strap and I'm going to place it, I'm going to turn this way so you can see the leg when I'm working and I'm going to kind of hook it. I'm not going to use, you have a, the loop strap, you can totally use a loop, but just for simplicity's sake because you might not have the strappy, the loopy strap. I'm just going to place it around my foot and I'm going to lay back. Spine just stays pretty neutral. I'm going to take it up so that my knee is about over my hip. Your leg may or may not be straight. I'm gonna keep both sides of my waist long and I'm just gonna do a few bends and stretches here. Keeping the foot as parallel as I can, right? Not turned out and not turned in. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's definitely a snap, crackle, pop. And then try a few in external rotations and start out and bend and stretch. and then turn it in and do a few with the knee and internal rotation. Now I'm gonna take it up and hold it pretty straight. Bring it back to parallel and I'm gonna just point and flex a few times. And then I'm gonna do a few ankle circles, just turn it in, flex, out, point, and then other direction. And then just bring it in as much as I can, giving it a nice deep stretch. Keeping that side of the waist long, deep breath in. I'm just gonna hold to really stretching that hamstring. And you can gently kind of press into the strap with your leg, creating a little bit of tension. You want to feel this in the back of the thigh. The leg doesn't have to be totally straight. Mine's pretty straight. It doesn't have to be totally straight. We're going to hold for about another 30 seconds, really just to release that hamstring. Make sure the whole body is really grounded to the mat. Core is engaged. Another deep breath. Exhale, stay with me. Just press into the strap a little bit more, maybe give yourself a little bit of a deeper stretch. We're gonna let go of the strap, but try to keep the leg up, but we're just gonna hold it, right? So try to keep that leg up, hold the leg there, 10 seconds. Try to keep everything else still. Just building strength around that flexibility now. Five, four, three, two, one. You can take a hold of that. And if your strap isn't that long, it doesn't be big. You just lower and lift the leg a few times. And lower. Just give it a big stretch. One more time. Deep breath. And we'll change sides. Set the leg down, lengthen out through the body. And now bend and stretch that leg. Try to keep the knee right above that hip point. So my knee bone's right above, right the, where my leg and my hip connect. And keep the foot parallel, stretch and bend that leg. Feels a lot different on this side for me. Now, from here, turn that leg out and stretch and bend the leg. Doesn't go all the way straight for me, especially on this side. Keep it turned out one more time. Turn 
turn it center and then turn it in. And stretch. And stretch, keep it turned in. And bend. Now hold it, bring it back to parallel. And let's circle that ankle, right? So point, turn in, flex, turn out. A few more. And just let go of the tension. And then circle in the other direction. And then right from here, see if you can give that like a big stretch. And we'll just hold for a minute here. Inhaling deeply, and then exhaling. Good, breathe in through nose and then out through your mouth. Hold it just a little bit deeper. Keeping your spine neutral, keeping that side always really long. Now, in just a few seconds, we're going to let go of the strap and try to keep that leg up. Now, let go of the strap, try to keep that leg up. Building strength all around that leg, keeping the hips nice and even. And you might really feel that that thigh. In three, two, one. Go ahead and give it a final stretch. Take a breath in. And you can kind of give it a little bit of, of slack. And then lower and raise that leg a few times. Hold it up. Big stretch. And then go ahead and let that leg go. Come on up and come to all fours. Bring one foot forward. You can always use blocks or do this in front of a wall or a chair. And we're just gonna Bring the hips forward and then walk back. Bring the hips forward. Walk your hands back, sitting back towards the back heel. And on. Now you can try to come forward. Opposite hand goes down. Big stretch. Raising that back knee. Setting the hand down. Switching sides. And coming forward and back a few times. Walking back. Bringing it forward. Walking back. forward, raising that back knee, pressing that opposite hand down and reaching that hand, pressing that hand and that foot to the floor, reaching the hand on up, twisting, bringing that hand down, setting the knee to the floor, and you did it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Comment below if you have any questions. I'll see you live tomorrow, Saturday. If you're not doing this live with me, then you'll just be able to 
go right to the next workout. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really helps me and I hope this challenge really helped you.